you mentioned getting omega-3s from yeah. a food source, sure, yeah. which yeah. comes from the sea. Marine, marine animals. animals yeah. can, Fatty fish. Can people get enough through food? Yeah, they can get enough, okay. certainly. If you eat three fatty fish meals per week, okay. then you will in general uh, it take uh, 500 milligrams, half a gram of these essential long-chain polyunsaturated fatty acids that we should, by shorthand call EPA and DHA. Mm -hmm. You will get enough, but not, not very Amer many Americans do eat three fatty fish meals a week. And if we look at the amount that Americans take uh, through their food, it's an average of 150 to 200 milligrams. And we say at minimum you should have 500 milligrams. And 25% of Americans have an intake of zero. Mm. So, so there are, there are, as I said, food deficiencies in that area. Mm -hmm. You mentioned EPA and DHA. Yeah. Can you explain what those are? Because when people see supplements, yeah. those are listed that, on there. Are, explain the, those. These are the two polyunsaturated omega-3, marine omega-3 fatty acids that influences body function. Okay. Uh, and they have different uh, ways of, of working but they are built into cell mem membrane, both of them. Uh, when, we, when we, for example, take EPA, the, the one that we first focused in on, is a 20 carbon fatty acid with five double bonds, so that's a bit of chemistry, but nevertheless, that's how it is. Uh, this fatty acid has influence on blood clotting. It dampens blood clotting. So thereby, it has a beneficial effect of risk of getting coronary artery mm -hmm. here diseases and it also dampens inflammatory processes so it works in, in rheumatoid arthritis and, and things like that. The other guy, the DHA, it's a longer guy. Uh, DHA has 22 carbon atoms and six double bonds. Well, forget about the chemistry, but that's how it, it is. It has a broader spectrum of effects. Uh, it is the fatty acid that is built into our brains. Our okay. brains consist uh, to a very high degree of fatty acids, and, and half of them are DHA. And as you remember, you cannot make it. You have to eat mm -hmm. it. Uh, so there are symptoms related to DHA deficiency that are related to brain function, both in newborns and kids and in the elderly getting uh, de um, cognitive deterioration. Uh, uh, and then another area is the eye, because the retina, the back side or the background of your eye that catches up the light mm -hmm. when it has been focused in by the, uh, our lenses, uh, are packed with DHA. And DHA is part of the photosensitive symptom, uh, system that translates light into impulses that goes to your brain and make you able to to look at me and <laughs> for me to look at you. <laughs> so, uh, and DHA ha have, have effects on brain function, on, on eyesight, and also on inflammatory reaction like EPA, but in a broader way. So, we sh if you should compare them, they're both essential, but our need for DHA exceeds that of EPA.